Hey guys, it's Shane Kilby here with Brick Driven Realty. Uh, it's that time of the year, it's the beginning of, uh, of 2022, and a lot of uh, our friends, family, clients uh, want to know, you know, what is the current state of the business, the industry? So today we're going to answer a question about what the future of 2022 looks like for real estate in North Alabama. So each year around this time, everyone wants to know what, what are we looking like in the, the year to come in real estate. So in 2021, we had a massive year of success in, in the, the, the entire world, you know, would have thought that, you know, real estate would have slowed down um, and that no one would have been buying homes. As uh, many of you already know, uh, it was a historical year in the industry nationwide with with some properties appreciating in the excess of, of 18 19 20 percent uh, and some markets uh, averaging higher than that um, what we're looking at going further into 2022 we do expect to still maintain a hot uh, hot demand high demand for the inventory that is available which is really uh, tight still, very, very snug inventory. Uh, we are in what is uh, presumably called a referred to as a seller's market. But what that just means is that there's a lower supply and a greater demand, okay? So we have been, uh, you know, we have seen or heard that we may see some incremental uh, price, uh, rent interest rate increases. Uh, throughout the year, we haven't seen those uh, take place as of yet. Uh, we are seeing building materials uh, level out. Um, uh, they're not back where we'd like to see them previously, but we have seen them actually uh, level out and actually you know, some of these building materials have come down in price. Um, we are still in a very, very um, hot, aggressive market. So, what we're looking at with our clients today moving forward in 2022 is to stay proactive to definitely make sure that you have your buying power established with your lending professional your your trusted lending expert advisor be ready to to capitalize on that opportunity when it strikes we do expect the market to level out a little less uh, i'm sorry level out a little more in 22 and and have a a little bit uh more uh of a readily available inventory now don't we don't expect it to be an abundance of inventory by any means form or fashion but we do expect that with uh, the covid uh issues and stuff um easing up and a lot of folks getting back to some type of normalcy, we do expect to continue to see a, a leveling out of the market. We do not expect or we do not see any signs, any data pointing to any crash of the real estate market. Um, we don't see anything that points at uh, a reversal of home values or any type of an abundance, overabundance of inventory. Um, a lot of folks uh, who were around in the crash of 08, 09, um, you know, they remember a lot of inventory um, and, 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 you know, pl more than plenty to go around. The biggest differences between today's scenario situations and those uh, happened to be uh, in that market crash, um, we had, there was an abundance of inventory there were a lot of looser lending practices then um, that probably should have been a little bit, um, a little bit more methodical, right, to say the least. Um, and then interest rates were also, uh, they were in the sixes uh, back in that point in time, maybe even low sevens. So when you flip that script and look today, we have, historically low interest rates. Even if we do see these quarter point uh, rate increases as we're hearing through the grapevine, we're still at historical low rates for this, for this period that we're going through. Um, and 
So the best that we can hope for is that we do see some more inventory uh, coming in uh, as uh, winter turns into spring. So if you're on the fence or you've considered, you know, let me wait till the market crashes, let me wait till the market reverses, there's nothing out there showing that that is, going, that is coming around the corner. Now, many of us may, you know, feel like that might be, you know, something that's about to take place. But again, we don't have any kind of data uh, that would point to that, not even from National Association of Realtor, which tracks this data, you know, intensively uh, to protect the consumer and to also uh, continue to, to keep our industry um, at, the, uh, at the utmost, you know, knowledge and, and, and the foremost knowledge of what's taking place. So if you guys have any questions about real estate, you want to take a look at the property you have and consider uh, seeing what that property might bring in today's market. Uh, or if you've considered selling uh, in 2021, but you were a little apprehensive about rates and where the market's going, now's the time to put that home on the market. Dead a winner, right? You have, the, you have less competition today than you will in 90 days from now. So let's sit down, take a look at your situation and let's get you uh, get that property sold for you. If not, you have no hard feelings. Uh, if you want to look at any property, you just want to kick tires, or you just want to just you know have a conversation about real estate in general, feel free to contact myself or any of our team at the information provided in this video. Again, this is Shane Kilby with Brick Driven Realty. We thank you for watching our video, and we hope you have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.